I've been getting a lot of questions about secondary suites or what are otherwise have referred to as basement suites in Winnipeg. Are they allowed? Um, can you have them? What do you need? And the general answer is yes, but you need to do your due diligence. And this is a great website, which I will put in the link below. Um, as you can also see at the top here, if it's not, if you don't see the link, there is the website there. And it talks about um, secondary suites and what you need. And first thing is a permit required. Absolutely a permit is required. So you need to go through that process with the city of Winnipeg. It's got great general information about it. Um, about attached secondary suites, detached uh, secondary suites, construction information that uh, needs to be for uh, requirement purposes, uh, your application requirements, and uh, what some of the building codes are. Um, some of the things it's going to talk about is exits and window egress. You're definitely going to need uh, egress windows. And again, this is just me going through the process and taking a look at it. Do your own due diligence. Take a look at all of this too as well. It's going to get into what type of fire protection that you need. I believe you need a fire rating uh, between the secondary suite uh, and the other uh, the suite as well. You need a separate heating um, um, for that suite. So a lot of what a lot of people will do in a basement suite is they will put thermostatic control baseboard heat and that way you don't need a separate furnace. Um, you don't need a separate air conditioner. You could run split units uh, or heat pumps is what they're also referred to. So those are all good ideas for the secondary suites. One of the things that I did notice too, that you can only have about a third of the um, square footage as a basement suite, but it does cap out to at 800 square feet. So if you had like a, say a 3000 square foot bungalow and the basement footprint was 3000 square feet, you couldn't use a thousand square feet as that would be a third. You're capped out at only 800 square feet. So, one of the things that's not included in that 800 square feet, again, you need to do your due diligence, is um, the, you know, your furnace room or anything like that wouldn't be considered part of the square footage. Probably laundry rooms, if you did a shared laundry rooms, also wouldn't be considered uh, part of that uh, third of the square footage or the 800 um, square feet. Talks about uh, related permits, your electrical, your plumbing even goes through the process, how to apply online, how to apply in email, and how to apply in person. Um, some great information here. As we're seeing pricing at houses going up, um, this is what you're going to see in new builds. We're already seeing most new builds having egress windows and options that you can build that secondary suite um, within the new build. Again, as prices go up, interest rates go up, people are looking for more affordable way uh, to have homes. And this is a great way to do it by uh, if you've got some basement area that you're not using, um, it may be worth spending the money on it, turning it into a a secondary suite or a basement suite. If you have any real estate related questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. If you like the content we're putting out, um, show us some love on social media, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us at Instagram and uh, LinkedIn and all of the other platforms. And uh, if we can ever help you out, any questions real estate related wise, we'd love to chat with you. We love, we love talking real estate. We love what we do. Uh, Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.